Installing NixOS is so simple, all it takes is a single installation USB stick and around 10 minutes of patience. So to begin, navigate to nixos.org slash download website, you will find a link to it in the description, and scroll down until you see a section called NixOS the Linux distribution. Here you will find a button that says download GNOME, and don't worry, it doesn't mean you'll have to use GNOME, just that the graphical installer will have it, and we will choose the actual desktop environment later during installation. So click on it, wait for it to finish, and then burn the ISO image on a USB stick with tools available on your current operating system, be it regular DD, Ventoy, or even Rufus if you are on Windows. And to boot into it, you will need to change your BIOS boot order. The exact steps vary by motherboard model, so google your motherboard model name plus how to change boot order, you'll find plenty of tutorials online. And after you do, you will see this menu. The first option will work fine for most users, but if you run into any graphics card related issues during installation, you can also try the second one. Now simply wait for 5 seconds or click enter and let the installation environment load. Afterwards, you will see a friendly Calamaris installation wizard pop up in the middle, so the hardest part is over, and now all we have to do is follow the steps on the screen to complete the installation. Note that you do need internet connection to install NixOS, so make sure that your ethernet cable is plugged in or connect to Wi-Fi. Then select your preferred language, time zone, keyboard layout, type in your username and password, and pick one of the various desktop environments. For most users, I suggest you go with GNOME or KDE, since they are the most popular, but even if you decide to install something else later, NixOS makes changing desktop environments in window managers as easy as it gets. Next, make sure to allow unfree software, especially if you are running an NVIDIA graphics card or using proprietary software like Discord, and now, all that's left is to partition your disk, so make sure the correct disk is selected here at the top, and then either let NixOS erase the disk completely, or partition it manually. Here you can also choose to enable swap, and for desktop you'll generally want to choose the third option, and while the installer does have an option to enable encryption, I would not recommend to enable it unless you really know what you are doing. And finally, check the summary screen to make sure that everything is correct, and click install to begin the installation. Beware that it will most likely get stuck on exactly 46%, because that's where the actual installation part is happening, so don't panic, don't reboot your machine, and simply wait for it to finish. And just to be sure that something is really happening, you can also click the toggle lock button. After the installation is complete, restart your system, wait for a moment, and you're in, ready to edit your NixOS configuration for the first time. And now, I'd like to thank all the amazing people that support the channel and keep it going, especially all of the great monthly supporters, of which we have one new member, so thanks Subjunctive for signing up your support is invaluable. And as always, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.